Oh, I wasn't sure I could move my camera, but apparently I can. Um, yeah, this is rather pretty. Alright, well, um, hello everybody! SCP Slayer here, and welcome to Transliminal. I did not expect to throw me in directly, I've just kind of started to grow a habit of immediately starting recording the second I boot up the game. Or at least trying to. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Apparently, this is the intro. I wasn't expecting to be thrown directly into it. Um, but I decided to stay quiet during that first bit. So, I guess we jump. Oh, God. I would imagine. This would be fucking great. Why would I pull the cord? Yeah. Like pulling the cord is going to be a, a, imperative. Uh oh. Oh no. Secondary handle. Let's turn around. Secondary handle. Secondary handle. Where the fuck is the secondary handle? Wait for it. 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 We're going to see how close we can get the ground. Oh shit, okay. Ah! 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 Did he just pass out in the middle of falling? Damn, you can let that go fa- what? Oh, this is entering the back rooms. Whoa, I can still move my camera, what the fuck? That's trippy. I don't know what version of the back ribs is from, but it looks familiar. It looks very familiar from one of the ver one of the different uh, back rooms websites. If you don't know what I mean, there's like three or four different back rooms websites. Not counting Reddit. So um, I guess here we go. Oh my, is this like a loading screen? If so, that's a cool lo that's a cool ass loading screen. I love interactive loading screens. You, you should see me in, uh, in Warframe. <laughs> I am constantly just making the little, the pod go up and down in a wave. It's fun. And oh, oh, I'm falling faster. Oh, is this literally just a loading screen? If so, this is one of the coolest loading screens ever. That That is a great way to do loading screen. Oh yeah, it is a loading screen. I can see the loading bar now. Oh, that's clever. I love that. Yeah, something I'm probably gonna do in my games is make it so try and make it so the loading screens are active. I can't remember. Oh, I got the achievement no clipped. Hello? Anybody? Anyone? No? Just me? So apparently this game is procedurally generated, which is very cool. Love when things are procedurally generated. Especially if it's procedurally generated nicely. Q or E to peer around corners. Oh, okay, I'm going to Heed that advice to the best of my abilities. Okay, escape for system settings. Tab for stats. What did it say? T? Or R? I missed that last one. Okay. This is pretty cool looking, actually. Zoom camera with scroll wheel. Alright. So, normal camera. Normal, you're holding a camera wandering the back rooms type thing going on. Alright. All right, we're back in the back rooms. Nothing too odd yet. I mean, the setting's kind of interesting. Nice interpretation of it. Oh, is that a door? Okay, so it doesn't open. Okay. I was wondering if there was like special interaction I had to do, but no, it just doesn't open. What Good to know. Around? Good question. Why are you tying me out of sprint, game? Is there something here? Oh, I hear music. 
I'm gonna head towards that music. I think in order to get to it, I have to go this way. I'm not sure where I go. You think there's something off, buddy? You just kind of glitched through the ground to get here. Are we still playing as that guy, or are we playing as someone else, though? I'm very confused. What is this shit on the ground? Like, I can kind of see my shadow, but I don't have a physical body there. Oh, hello. Oh, that's gross. Ugh. Now this I can use. What is this? Cassette will automatically play. Alright. Live void. KOA. Um, we're just gonna pause that one. I think I just lost a bunch of sanity. Um, Party on. As sanity is lost, camera visibility and video quality deteriorate. Exploring, collecting items, and listening to tapes may affect sanity. Some. Well, oh, shit. Okay. So this is having a good effect on my sanity. That last one was not. Got something. F to operate flashlight. Alright. Sink your fingers in. The abyss loves you. Resume. Oh. That's that's creepy. It starts saying shit in your inventory. Oh, I love that. Ooh, that is a nice bit of creepy. Okay, we're just gonna leave this playing since it's having a good effect on our sanity. Okay, I guess we're out on that one. Damn. I wonder what Hello, the cassette. Good question. What are we gonna get? Please be something good. Monday, October 1st, log 001 of Project Columbia. Dr. Oliver Navarro. I do hereby document this first precious step shit. into the unknown. Uh... I would like to thank North for believing my research, as well as providing the resources to complete these experiments. So, what is that that we're attempting to falsify? Simple, really. In the following weeks, we shall attempt to prove that given the proper conditions, solid matter can pass through solid matter. I hypothesize that oh. it is possible to maintain the strong force cohesion of a material relative to itself while neutralizing the force interactions with other objects. Our goal here is none other than to prove Pauli wrong. That's weird. So you want to prove phasing can happen. Did that come from? Hold on a minute. Hold the fuck on. Didn't I? I'm not insane, right? Wait, what? How did I get... Oh my god, is it changing around us? What in the world? That's a different type of door. It's still not openable, but it's a different type of door. Okay, wait, 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 wait. What? Where'd the desk come from? That was not here when we came down this hallway before. That changed too. Wait. The entire place is changing around us. Oh, that is such a cool touch. Oh, I love that. That is Gnarly. an entire layer of creepy. Yuck, a cassette tape. Please be something useful. Or just not bad. Disgusting. Scalding Books thanks you for listening to this preview cassette of our edutainment psychology series, Beyond Liminal, with Professor William Thoroughborn. Now, there are some people who have a tendency to push their minds beyond the limits of your average day-to-day -day human, beyond normal perception. Okay. More precisely, they engage Unique. in acts that make their brains process sensory data differently. A two-headed coin. Why is it Cthulhu? The way they themselves perceive that information after it's been processed. How they feel about it. The death of the ego is a white dragon some chase. Be it through meditation, sensory deprivation, rituals of pain, such as the tribal kavadi, or most commonly, the consumption of hallucinogenic drugs. Ah. The type of personality that seeks these experiences tend to display greater creativity, yes, but also more spirituality and belief in the paranormal. Yeah, that's in my normal. Research, unfortunately, transliminality can also be positively correlated with psychoticism. Psycho- what? <laughs> a person with these tendencies may create great works of art and be the life of the party. Oh. But they could also be the death of you. 
That's something. All right. That's interesting. All right. What are these random? Little, tell me how it got here. Bits of podcast. Logic under, log number two. Oh. Update. With the assistance of Doctor. The Hines next part of the Wagner, test. I believe we have a final design. The challenge was in structurally compensating for the strength of the primary phase drivers, which uh, should be arriving within the next week. It seems my hypothesis will actually be tested soon. It'll be somewhat embarrassing if I'm wrong, but I shall yield to Lady Science and her brutal truths. Yeah, yeah, that's normal scientist. Some tunes might take the edge off. Void Black? That's a cool name for a band, actually. Is that an actual band? Ooh. Oh, like the yeah. steam. Ugh, so much weird mold shit. Oh, there's another cassette. I'm compelled to keep this. A compass points towards electromagnetic poles. C to equip. All right. Is there even a point in using it here? No. Not in this level. I know there are more levels. Like it literally describes there being like more levels past this one. And, uh, maybe it'll be used on another one? I don't know. Well, I'm gonna try and collect each and every one of these fucking cassette tapes. Maybe some clues to all of this. This is Dr. Novarro, lead researcher oh. of Project Oh, hey, it's Carbon. more of him. Initial testing of the newly installed sensors are promising. Walls are alive. Air, I believe the newly installed dampening mounts will eliminate any distortions in our readings. Yes, yes. Well, there's nothing left to do but turn this puppy on. And literally see what shakes loose. So here we go. In three. Yuck. Two. One. Uh oh. No. My word. It is glorious. What? Oh, that guy went insane. That guy went batshit insane. He peered into the into the abyss that is the back rooms. Excellent. Beast machine. Okay, this is just more sanity help. Alright, good. I'm probably needing it. <laughs> Could you imagine just a guy walking through the back rooms? He's just chilling, listening to a fucking cassette tape. Oh, there's another cassette. Because he keeps finding them every five fucking seconds. Well, uh, I'll collect that here in a second. Still very weird to be able to interact and turn off the lights. So once this cassette tape is done again, I'm going to pick up this other one and see if it's another story bit or what. Oh, I can. Okay. This is Dr. Novarro. So I don't need to wait for one to end. This is Dr. Oliver Mitchell Novarro. Lead researcher oh, more of Project it. Colander. October 11th, 1979. A day that will go down in science history as the day we conquered matter. During our first experiment, that precisely... What do you want to conquer matter? PM, we initiated We're kind of made of full it. voltage. Two cue balls were mounted at the mouth of the emitter, where then pressure was applied from each side, pressing their surfaces together. We then used the driver to phase the modified gluons through their atomic matrices, thus neutralizing the strong force. You got another one of those points. And it worked! I was hoping for something small, an intersection of their surface volumes at best. But Pocket instead, watch. Both balls disappear in an incredible, if blind High quality timepiece. I can't stop going over the All sensor right. data. According to this, there was a huge pull of negative air pressure at the precise moment of the object's intersection, but no traces of the matter remain. No pieces, no dust, oh. not even gas. Where did they go? Ow, what the fuck? Oh, there's shit dripping there. What the hell? Didn't know I'd have to be watching for that. There's a phone somewhere. Oh, there's the phone. Hmm. Never heard of it. Maybe some clues. Okay, it'll finish this one and then it'll go to the next one. Hello, who is this? Heavy breathing. Oh god. Oh goody. We're just constantly gonna have cassettes playing at this point. There's just gonna be constant things. Fuck you. Don't talk to me. Fine. Fuck you. No, I saw something that looked interesting. No, there it is. I was gonna say, is it gone? No, it's right there. What the fuck? Why is this area destroyed? That's really weird. Another one of the coins. All right, let's see. Um, what is? I saw that guy. Hello, hi. We're not going towards you. Oh, hello. I see you up there. Hi. Uh, please stay away. 
I feel like I'm in the suddenly not safe part of the back rooms. Um, okay, so I need to be watching above me and in front of me. Because that thing is in the ceiling. Um, shit. <laughs> I want to check that cabinet, but also, um, I'm terrified to go near it. Collections. Next tape, please. Project Colander Research Log 005. It's been two weeks since we conducted the cue ball experiment. Okay, we're gonna go to towards the light. That I have been thinking too small. I'm designing a second version of the array, capable of creating a much larger field. Oh, well, hello. Perhaps we shall see what happened to those cubes. Hey, after you can all. back here. What the fuck? Oh shit! Did I actually just lose my flashlight permanently? That is a problem. Where have I tasted this? What the fuck just happened? Did I gain health or? Yes, I gained health. Okay. Okay, so this is the healing spot. Can I take them? No? Okay. I guess... I guess I'll continue without a flashlight? For now? I'm not going in there without a flashlight. I can do that right now. Fuck you. This is a cool room, though. I like this room. Oh, please be something of use in here. And not just a random door that I can open. Okay, so my flashlight got stolen by a little goblin. Uh, I don't know what the fuck to do to get it back. Um... I'm just gonna watch the ceiling, I guess. Uh, just need to hunt for a new one. Oh, motherfucker, what is this? Ah, yes, exactly what I wanted. Darkness, totally. Um, uh, oh boy. There's a lot of moss and shit around. And what the fuck? Holy shit. This place is just getting more and more decrepit as we go. Epilepsy warning, okay. Yes, hello, can you hear me? I need... No activated at nation zero epsilon. What? V1. Primary neural activity will be monitored to assess acclimation. Please establish a minimum of seven things so we can triangulate your dimensional coordinates. What? Was that a recording or a person? <gasps> oh, I have to find the phones. Okay, I'm guessing this leads to one of the endings. It'd be nice if there was a flashlight in one of these. It'd be very nice, in fact. Um, please give me a flashlight. Dear God, I need to get out of that room, though. Jesus Christ. Just a lot of flickering. Apologies to anyone who has issues with that. Carpet snacks? You ate a back shroom. I just got the achievement for eating that. Oh my. Okay, so we've entered the area with entities. I had to watch for dripping shit as well. Set. Hey, for some new music. Flashlight. Yes. Okay, I can now use flashlight. Yay. I'm not sure if flashlight has a charge or anything, but I can use it now. Oh, great. Do I need three to actually use that? God damn it. Okay, keep that in mind. They cost like three. Fuck. I don't like that sound. I'm hearing, what's the sound of the guy who took my fucking flashlight, isn't it? Well, guess what? He can go fuck himself. What is that? Go away, Mr. Shadow Person. Go away, please. Um, we're going this way. Away from whatever the fuck that is. Screw that. Avoid the dripping shit. Please tell me this is an intact area of the back rooms. Can I open this trash can? You can't dumpster dive, really. We're in the back rooms, come on. <laughs> Unplayable. <laughs> okay, we seem to have made it back to the light area. I think we're a bit safer here. I hope. Fingers crossed that we are safer here. Okay, so I was expecting to die a lot easier <laughs> than I have. Um, There's a lot of confusing things going on. Which, to be fair, it is the back rooms. It's to be expected. There's just a lot here. What the hell? And the fact that it's constantly changing when I leave. That's floating, apparently. Interesting. Is there... Anything behind this door? Yes, there is. Please do something useful. Why did the door close behind me? The door never closed behind me. Ah, that's dripping shit. Alright. 